This one's gonna be on a program called um, Atoll. Basically, is a archive manager for the terminal. So, this bus is out here. Give you an example. So we have some files here, and you know you have tar files, tar.bz, tar.gz, and it's a real hassle to try to remember all of them. Like if you want to extract it, you go tar dash I don't know what the hell it is. Yeah, x here, right? And then you go I don't know what we have here, the point launcher, and that's how you would extract it and everything. And then you go on to the next uh, f you know extension like zip or something. Then you have to remember to use unzip. And then what's the extension or what's the flag for that? I don't know either. So you know you have to do all that crap every time. Well, this one is, um, you know, you can actually extract it without remembering all those formats. You just gotta remember one thing, and it's a tool, right? The thing why I like about this one over the other ones, um, there's a lot of other ones that can extract, but they can't really do other features besides that. This one can actually extract. You can actually create. Um, you know, compress files. You can actually list it out, and you can actually convert it to different um, formats, like you know, zip to RAR or RAR to zips. Uh, so you can do a lot of things than just extracting. But the main purpose is, you know, it is to extract too. Anyways, um, give you the the page here for this. If you type in man a tool, right? You have like uh, they have different I guess uh, scripts or packages for different purpose. So the main one is a tool, and this is like a wrapper for all of these ones under it, right? And let me show you the options here. So you have lists. You can actually extract it. You can extract it to a different path. Uh, so let's try some of it out right here. We'll list out some files here. Let's say we did the tar thing. So let's say this one, if we want to extract it, we just go a tool, right? And this is the extracting here. So dash x, dash x, and then uh, the file name that we want. So this one is one one, blah 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 here Trinity, and that's it. That's all you got to remember. You don't have to remember to use tar or you know zip file or whatever. Let's do that for another one like um. Uh, what is this one here? We have this Naruto one here, right? And we do the same thing. A tool dash um, what's that? X, and then uh, Naruto zip file, right? So you don't have to remember to use tar. You don't have to remember to use unzip, rar files. Uh, there's some other crap too, but I don't remember. Uh, so that's all you gotta do here, and we'll list it out again. We have those two folders that it extracts this one and this one down here right um, other things you can do with this is let's say you don't want to extract it you just want to list it out so for example we have this um, I don't know what is this gist thing here if we want to just list it we can just go a tool dash l and we'll list out uh, that file here and it just shows us that what's inside it so if we list it out Right, it'll show us. Okay, there's a file in here, and you can do that for other files too. Like, um, I don't know, what is this one? This wine launcher thing here. So, a tools dash l wine launcher, and it lists us the files that's inside it. Right. So, um, that's an another thing why I like it. And if you want to compress some stuff, there's this uh, what is it? Add option here. So let's do that here. We'll list it out. So we have a few files. Um, let's say we we'll do this PDF here, this one, and maybe this other one up here too. All right. So let's do that. A tool dash um, was a add, and you want to give it a name. So let's say we give this. We'll call this YouTube or something, and whatever extensions you want, it can be you know tar zip rar what, whatever extensions you want you just type it in here so for example we want it rar files right and space here and then we want the files that we want to add in so let's say we want this file um what's that icon something odf otf i mean and let's say the age of empires pdf 
and let's say uh, the cast dot sh here all right and that's all you gotta do you hit enter now and it will compress it right there and it will list it out again now we have our YouTube right uh, you wanna list out what the content was we'll do a tool list and then YouTube RAR and there you go it tells us that um, we have this file this file and this file uh, this file that we just added in here um, other stuff you can do in here is an example what they have you can list out the well the differences between two files which I'm not gonna show you um, if you want to like extract multiple files let me give you an example of that here let's say you have um, what do we have here alright let's say we have this one and this one right uh, they're both like tar.gz if you want to extract all of them you just go a tool um, dash x for extract and you want to do it for each file so that's why there's a each uh, dash e here and so you go dash e and then you want to use a wildcard dot tar dot gc right and then basically it'll extract those two that we want uh, see they'll extract this one and then this wine one here that we just had right uh, so that's it for that there's some other crap you can do um, give me another example oh yeah conversion wise okay if you want to convert it uh, they didn't have it in the man page but if you look in um, a tools dash dash help there's this one called um, dash r for repack so this one will like convert it to a different um, format for you so for example we have let's say this um, uh, this RAR file that we just created, right? Uh, YouTube here. So if we say the A tool dash R for repack, right here, right? Repack. And then we want to give it a different format. We go dash F. Uh, and then what format do we want it to? If we say you want zip, you just go dot zip. If you want it like dot jar or tar or whatever it is, doesn't matter, right? For this one, we just say uh, zip. And then um, we want to uh, apply to each file. So if I do each file, um, and what file do we have? YouTube here, right? And then now it'll convert it to um, what we have here, the zip file that we have, right? So that's how you do conversion wise. And yeah, it's a pretty good tool. I wish I'd known it earlier. I've seen some other ones, like I said before, but. All the other ones they only do is extraction. They don't do compression. They don't let you list out the files. They don't let you convert the files, which is uh, what I want. I want like a, an all in one, and this is what um, the tool does. And I'll say this is the best of them all. Uh, so try it out. A tools should be in your repositories. Good program. That'll be it for this one.